Hello. Save the NHS. Make fat shaming great again. That's right. Never before in this country's history has there been so many obese people. Just venture out of your front door and you'll see obese people wobbling past. Big bus horses, big yard dogs. Usually with a bag of crisp in one hand and a can of coke in the other. It literally is appalling what's now happening. You see them taking their kids to school. They're now obese because they're following the uh, habits of their parents. Now, being obese doesn't make you a bad person. I've got family members that you could class as obese. What it does make you, it makes you unhealthy, unattractive and a drain on the NHS. And you socialists, let's take Joe Anderson as an example, always moaning and complaining about Tory cuts, especially to the NHS, need to look at oneself. If you're not diabetic, Joe Anderson, then you must be pre-diabetic on some form of medication which is costing the taxpayer and the NHS. And all the rest of you other socialists that are always moaning and complaining, blaming the Tories, Tory cuts, the NHS, that are diabetic, you need to lose the weight, stop drinking, change your diet, exercise, come off your medication and reverse type 2 diabetes, which you can do, instead of moaning and complaining about the Tories while the taxpayer funds your unhealthy lifestyle. You're all hypocrites. Also as well, also, no matter how much money the Tories pump into the NHS or a future Labour government, it won't matter how many new hospitals you build. How many new doctors and nurses and staff you train? Because all you're going to be doing is catering for more obese and sick people, right? Now, I know mass immigration is also taxing the NHS. I'm sure it is. Hundreds of thousands of immigrants coming to the country each year can't be helping at all. In fact, it's not. But trust me, the main problem now crippling the NHS and will do unless this changes is obese people, the people of this country. I mean, look at yourselves, you look unattractive, you're going to die probably decades before you should, your clothes don't fit right, and I'm not talking about someone that's a few pounds or even a stone or two overweight, I'm all about people that have really let themselves go, there's no excuse for it. Now, okay, if there's a medical condition, then I, you know, this video doesn't, it's not about you, but in 99.9% .9 cases, it's not about a medical condition or a thyroid condition. It's about people just being lazy and filling their faces. I mean, what's going to happen in the future? Everyone will be working in the NHS to, uh, for all these fat people that are going to be joining the ranks of the sick more and more each day. Who's going to run the country? I mean, uh, the Tories, the Labour or whoever, Lib Dems, they need to be honest now and start talking about what's happening. Joe Anderson, if you're not diabetic, because you're always moaning more, more complaining about Tory cuts to the NHS, if you're not diabetic, you're pre-diabetic on some form of medication, which again is costing the taxpayer money. But are you going to lose your weight, exercise, change your diet, reverse type 2 diabetes and come off your medication? Well, no, you'll blame the Tories, right? Unless something happens in this country, this country's dying. It's going to be dead soon, right? Now, there's a big minority in this country that's sitting on the sidelines watching all this and they're happy with what's going on. They're happy the way our people are destroying themselves and they're just sitting and playing the waiting game and numbers game. We better wake up soon or we're in big trouble. Okay, thank you.